welcome to my JLo Beauty unboxing. The items that I received, this was complimentary from the brand. Glow and Get It Hydrating Mist. And then we also have the That Limitless Glow Face Mask. is what my face is looking like before I put on the mask. Just wanted to show you so we could have something to compare to. Here I was having a little trouble opening it, so I would recommend using scissors to start. It does say to tear, but as you can see, it's a little rough, so use some scissors to open it. The brand is cruelty-free. Their parent company is in the gray area. It did feel a little heavy as I was unfolding it because there is a lot of glow serum on the product. So it is a little bit tricky to get it unfolded, but not too bad. As you can see, there is two pieces. So they do recommend, I followed the directions that you start with the bottom half first and get that smoothed on. And there is the ear tabs that you want to use to put that behind you your ears so it really is pulling the mask tight against your face. And yes, as you can see at first I was using the wrong spaces for the ear holes. The sheet mask you can buy a count of three for a one-time purchase of $48. If you want to subscribe and have them delivered every 60 days, it's $40.80. You can actually do every 30, 60, or 90 days. It did feel a little tight putting on both of the ear holes, but then as you can see, it really brings it real tight against your, in a, tight in a good way, against your chin and that jawline. There was a little bit of a scent when I first opened the packet, but as I was applying it, I could not smell it anymore. And it was just a very, very little scent. Was a lot of product still on my hand so I just rubbed it as you can see into my neck and then wait 10 minutes. When the 10 minutes was about up my ear was starting to kind of hurt on the top there so you really want to make sure I noticed that it helped if you get the mask all the way behind your ear you don't want your ear bending down at all because then it did kind of start to hurt. As I was move moving it I could kind of smell that scent again but Again, it was very minimal, very easy to uh, remove, and I think that you can already see the glow in my skin and how dewy it looks. Just kind of pat it and rub the rest of the serum in. And here is after, and yes, I think that it's coming across on screen, but for sure in person, my skin was very, very glowy and really, really hydrated. I really liked it. It did not feel tacky on my skin after removal. And if you want some glow, I would highly recommend checking this out. It's very fine mist. I feel like there is some scent to it. I have been using this some more since the last time I filmed. And again, it's very, very fine mist. If you use the ABH Dewy Setting Spray, I think it's called, the one that is in the gold bottle, it's a fine mist like that. So if you like that one, you might like this. Do you think that it gives me a little bit of a glow? Okay, I put some more on this side of my face. This just has a little bit of it. I think that you can see I don't have any I don't have any highlighter on I had my mom smell it she's very sensitive to scents 
And she's like, I can't, I mean, there might be a little something, but she's like, not really anything. So if you're sensitive to scents, I think it would be okay. Very fine mist. I really like it. And yeah, happy with both items. Mm -hmm.